This exercise and exercises like these are actually very vital to the security in the Pacific in that we not only get to train at the joint and uh, combined level, but we also get to do it under multi-domain operations and under a very realistic scenario that's uh, applicable to some of our contingency plans and operations plans that we have in the theater. When we started Orient Shield in 2017, it was uh, simply a brigade level field training exercise between us and uh, the Japanese ground self-defense force. But over the years, uh, particularly in the last two years, it, it has evolved uh, and we have uh, increased the participation of this exercise to make it you know, the biggest FTX here in Japan for, uh, for the U.S. Army. Uh, our purpose here uh, for Orient Shield and Keen Sword is to provide uh, longer overwater air movement support uh, to uh, the Marines. Uh, we're also unique in the fact that we're uh, Link 16 capable on these aircraft and we're able to push targets uh, that we sense during these overwater missions back to the Marines who push that over to 17th fires, uh, which enhances uh, joint interoperability between all the services. The Division Fire Support Communication Center is essentially the, the highest echelon uh, for this operation. From there, we make decisions on where priorities need to lie. We would take some of those decisions and process those into fire missions and send them down the chain. And from there, they're processed to the Marine Corps' HIMARS as well as the Army's HIMARS. This is different from our standard training because it was joint today and we were able to combine our forces and make a joint fire mission to expand our lethality. We come off uh, amphibious landing craft from the Army uh, come in to a littoral area, execute a fire mission, and then make an expedient retrograde.